Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your Linksys router. And before I start, I want to remind you that if my video will help you, please support my work. Half of all donations I send to animal shelters. All details are in the description down below. So, the first step is to power on the router. Take the power adapter. Connect one end of the power adapter to a wall socket and the other end to the router. Then press the power button. Once it's on, an indicator will light up. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. Next, connect the cable from your broadband provider or from your modem to a special internet port. This port is often called WAN and is usually a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks into place. Now you need to reset the router back to its factory settings. Press and hold the router's reset button for 10 seconds. Wait until the lights on the router start to flash. Sometimes, this button is located inside the router casing to prevent accidental presses. Use a thin object to push it down. The router will restart and all the settings will go back to their original factory settings. Plug one end of the Ethernet cable provided with the router into an Ethernet port. Plug the other end into your computer or laptop's Ethernet card. Please wait a few minutes for connection. Great, the router is now connected to your computer. Now you will need to set it up. But before we begin, I will demonstrate an alternative way to connect the router if you don't have an Ethernet cable or your computer doesn't have an Ethernet port. Just connect the router to the power adapter and the cable from your internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi. If the router is new and has never been configured, the Wi-Fi network will be named as your router. Your router has a unique Wi-Fi network name and password that is printed on a label. Connect to it. Great job connecting to the router. Now let's move on to the setup process. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the beginning you will see a form with a login and password. Usually it is admin and admin. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log in to the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. On the first page, click here. Next, check the box here and click the Continue button. Then click OK. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. I want to warn you right away that there are many firmware versions and they may differ slightly. But don't worry, you will succeed, just watch the video and follow the instructions. So, on the Setup tab, in the Language section, you can select the preferred interface language. In the Internet Setup section, select the Internet Connection type. Usually, it is specified in the contract with your broadband provider. 
If you're not sure what your connection type is, select this one. It's the most common option. In the DHCP server settings section, make sure this is set to enabled. And in the time settings section, you can change your time zone. Now save the settings. Go to the wireless tab. Select the manual option. Here, in the network name field, you can change the name of your Wi-Fi network. Save the settings. If you were connected to the router via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the network if you just changed its name. Next, go to the Wireless Security tab. On this page, choose the security mode as I did. Here, in the Passphrase field, you can set or change the password for your Wi-Fi network. Save the settings. If you were connected to the router via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the network if you just changed its name. Next, go to the Setup tab and reboot the router. Wait a couple of minutes until the router fully restarts. Now check if the internet is working. Just try googling something. If the internet still doesn't work, try cloning your MAC address. To do this, go to the Setup tab. Open the MAC address clone section. Here, click Enabled. Then click the Clone My PC's MAC button. Save the settings. And you'll need to reboot the router again. Now check if the internet is working. Just try googling something. If internet still doesn't appear, Contact your internet service provider. He will tell you what type of connection you have and what other settings you need to do. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I send half of all donations to animal shelters. All the details are in the description below.